Hey everybody, welcome to Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe, hit the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much, and let's get started. The Devils win game four, and now the series is tied at two. You know, I never thought I'd be saying that from watching those first two games of this series, but the guys have played well. They've been a resilient bunch of guys all year, and they showed it in the series. They started playing differently. Um, instead of trying to bring the puck in by themselves, they use the, the chip and go into the into the zone with speed. And using that speed, that's been our um, our thing all year. And, you know, they're using more and more of it, and you're seeing them win these games. And, uh, you know, it's been fun the past couple of games. So, uh, you know, in this video, I want to talk about the game tonight. Talk about the way the series has gone so far, so please stay with me throughout. So the New Jersey Devils win game four by a score of three to one, and the series is now tied at two. Uh, it's been a bit of an odd series as the home team has lost all of the games so far. Uh, game five will be at the Rock on Thursday. The guys get an extra break in between. Um, you know, instead of the, the you know, a game on uh, Monday, you'd think it'd be on Wednesday, but they have it on Thursday, so they get that extra day break in between, so... Should help out in both teams' cases, but um, you know the guys look good. You know, uh, you know Schmidt played incredible again. Penalty kill was remarkable again, and you know a lot of the players are starting to produce. You're seeing Hughes score again. Uh, you're seeing Heisher put play a, a great, well-rounded game and put up a nice assist tonight. Uh, you're seeing Brat uh, put up an assist and uh, you know continue his uh, points uh, streak going, and um, Hamilton as well. So. Um, you know, it's it's slowly coming together, but, you know, the guys have been playing well the past couple of games. It's It's been one of those seasons where, you know, the guys get down, they're able to figure out a way to get back into the games, and, uh, you know, it's nothing different with the series. The guys were down 0-2, and, and series is tied now. So looking at the stats of the game, it was a pretty evenly matched game. Uh, the shots were, were both tied at 23 uh, from the Devils and the Rangers. Uh, Face-off percentage was in favor of the Devils, 59-41. to 41. Power plays, uh, the Devils went 0-2. for 2. The Rangers went 0-3. for 3. Uh, Penalty kill for the Devils was stellar again. Uh, hits were in favor of the Rangers, 24-21. to 21, And block shots were in favor of the Rangers, 19-13. to 13. Uh, Talking about Akira Schmid, uh, he made some huge saves. There was a couple of opportunities where the puck went through his legs and, you know, he was scouring to see where it was. Uh, those plays were a bit scary. It happened twice in this game, but, you know, he made 21 saves and, um, you know, the way he's been making these saves, he's a big goalie. He doesn't need a lot of movement. Uh, you saw in that shot with uh, Panarin, I believe it was on the power play. The puck came to him on the one timer and Schmidt didn't make a lot of movement and just came across and just blocked it. Um, you know, he's a big goalie. He moves quick and, um, you know, he doesn't have a lot of movement required. Like Vitek's a smaller guy and, um, you know, it's a totally different game the way they play, but Schmidt plays well. He's been playing well, and the thing with him is he's a good stick handler with the puck, and he's cool, calm, and composed. You know, he doesn't get all rattled up for the games, and, um, you know, that has a calming effect on the rest of the team. Even Jack Hughes said, you know, looking at both sides, they're both young guys, and this is their first go-around for uh, playing in the playoffs. And when you have your goaltender being cool and, you know, just – perfectly calm, you know, that kind of resonates with the rest of the guys. A lot of the guys on the team are inexperienced and, you know, guys see that and they, they take, uh, they take the same kind of method as well. So, um, you know, that has been a common effect for the guys and, uh, you know, it's been working. So hopefully it keeps up, uh, scoring summary, Jack Hughes, uh, he opened the scoring in the game on a beautiful move on a breakaway. Um, talking about one of those instances, the puck went through Schmidt's legs and, you know, was kind of scouring the puck went to Jack Hughes, uh, got up to Jack Hughes on a breakaway. He made a beautiful move and deeped uh, Igor Shesterkin. Uh, Devils led 1-0, and Jack Hughes has really been uh, lighting it up, so hopefully he can continue that. Um, Vincent Trocek scored in the third period to tie the game. Um, and then Nico Heischer, a couple minutes later, made a beautiful move. He um, got the puck from Dougie Hamilton, skated into the zone, Stopped, found an onrushing um, Jonas Siegenthaler, who just made a beautiful low shot and uh, scored. So um, Siegenthaler had a big game. He had a goal and an assist. Um, Palat scored to ice the game on an empty netter to make it 3-1. to one. And, you know, just looking at what the guys did. Uh, Jack Hughes had another goal. Uh, Jesper Bratt had an assist. Nico Heischer had an assist. 
Uh, Dougie Hamilton had an assist, so you're starting to see the guys slowly produce as the games go on, but you want to see more of Timo Meyer. Um, Timo Meyer tonight was a bit off. Uh, watching him skate around, he seemed a bit stiff. Uh, he wasn't going for the big hits like he was in the first th uh, three games of the series. And, um, you know, he had one shift where it was just, he was absolutely atrocious. He fell in the corner. He made a turnover trying to clear the puck out. Uh, the puck got on net. And then another opportunity came. He blocked the shot. And he got a penalty for shooting the puck up the boards. And he did take another stupid penalty today. So hopefully that stops. But, um, you know, hopefully he's not injured too. He looked a bit off today. So, um, you know, I'll have to see with Timo Meyer because the, the first three games, he was punishing people with his checks. And, uh, you know, even though with him, you want to see him score, you want to see him produce offensively, as long as he brings some sort of intangible where he's at least hitting guys like that because it does scare the guys off the puck. Um, you know, when they're going into corners, they're going against the boards, they're going to think twice about Timo Meyer coming to, uh, you know, punish them. So, you know, hopefully he's okay and the rest of the guys are okay as well. But you want to see more out of him. You want to see more out of Dawson Mercer and Tomas Tatar too. You want to see him start to produce offensively too because he has helped us a lot of the games this year. So, um, you know, we'll see what happens. But uh, game five should be another fun one. Uh, both teams played good tonight. Um, you know, there was stupid penalties taken on both sides. You know, it's just the, the way the playoffs are. But it was another low scoring event and, um, you know, could have went either way. But, um, you know, Devils were able to score that second goal. And uh, clench down and get that uh, empty net goal to, to ice the win. So we'll see what happens in game five. Hopefully the Devils can take the lead in the series. That'd be great. But, um, you know, comment below what you think about the game. What do you think about the series? Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate your time. Smash that like button if you haven't done so. And subscribe to the Hockey Skate Down. It's free. And join our hockey team. Thank you all so much. Have a great rest of the day. Have a great night. Take it easy. Stay safe.